Hello, this is your instructor. This is getting you ready for drawing number 23.4 in the 2019 textbook. So you open up AutoCAD 2019, and if you look in the book at for 23.4, it does say the units are inches. So you need to look at a template. It's either gonna be ACAD, which is feet and inches, or ACAD ISO. Remember, ACAD just means AutoCAD. Uh, ISO is the International Standards Organization. We don't want that. We want inches, so click on the ACAD template. Uh, and if you check it by typing units, which, you know, you won't need to check it, look, it says inches, so good. All right, so we are going to be creating this light signal using absolute coordinates. This should not take you more than 45 minutes. If it does, you need to stop and contact me immediately and arrange a time to get together because there's something that you're not getting. Um, we are just going to be using the line command. That's it. We are, however, uh, going to be using line weight as shown in my example. So remember, you need to come over here to customization. You need to make sure line weight is checked on and then turn it on. Otherwise, you still won't see it. Uh, and you are going to be adding solid hatching to the, the traffic lights as appropriate. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that. I know it's grayscale in the book. Please don't dimension or label the drawing with letters. It's, uh, those are letters for the absolute coordinates of those endpoints. That is just to help you draw the image. Please don't add them to your drawing. When you look at the lights, um, the circles, there'll be circles, and then uh, when you make the actual traffic signal housing, I would like you to close that um, figure. I will be checking that in your drawing. Remember, we're going to use absolute coordinates. The co command line window down here, command line window defaults to absolute coordinates, so that's handy. If you wanted to use relative coordinates, you would go up here to dynamic input, uh, which is already checked on for me. Uh, so when you get into a command, such as the line command, it, it's asking you dynamically what you want to do. Um, I'm gonna escape out of that command. And I, so you're just gonna go in, uh, remember, keep track of your time. So, um, and you start at zero comma zero, oops, sorry, I gotta be in the line command. So zero comma zero, enter. I'm just using the keypad on the right-hand side. It's gonna be a lot faster. Um, B is zero comma 30, enter. And look if I, there it is. It's already making it. So now uh, from B, I'm gonna to go to point E as in Edward. So make sure you're reading your schematic properly. Um, so then, six comma 20 and then f See, this is all i'm doing so if this takes you more than 45 minutes there you're mm, you are not getting it so please then come see me so that ends and i'm going to hit enter to end that now this is going to be Lar like a, a, a heavy line weight. So I'm going to select all that and I'm going to come up here to line weight in the properties controls. This is actually in chapter four, which is why I'm showing this to you. And I'm going to choose something heavy. Can't see anything less than 0.5. So choose 0.5 or bigger and then escape to deselect and there you have it. Make sure you save your DWG periodically. Uh, there is a way to set it up so that the machine does it for you, but I think it's just good practice for you to do it yourself. All right, I'm going to end this recording here. Go ahead and finish it up and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.